Hi, I'm Lumi Ray. So my Twitter is Lumi Ray with two Y's. Instagram Lumi underscore Ray, one Y. And OnlyFans is Lumi Ray, one Y. You can book me at 101 Modeling, either through Robert or Fran. From Wooten. Humboldt County. Born and raised? Mm, I was actually born in Newport Beach, uh, California. So started in SoCal, made my way up to NorCal, and now work has brought me back to SoCal. So. Did you have a favorite subject? Uh, I guess English. Yeah, just writing. Anything having to do with writing. In high school, did you go to high school or did you have homeschool? I went to high school for one year. Um, I didn't like how clicky it was and how everyone really cared about each other's business. So I kind of just kept to myself and homeschooled the rest of high school. Uh, clicking aside, were you popular with the boys? Yeah. <laughs> Did that make some of the girls mad? Always. Do you remember the first time you saw something adult related? A magazine, a movie? Yeah, I actually was exposed to porn probably too young uh, of an age. I want to say like six or seven. Wow. Yeah, I just stumbled across the internet and was like, oh, this is wild kind of made me very desensitized to it, so. As you got older, did the thought ever cross your mind that I could do that? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Once I started having sex, too, and became really comfortable in my body and sexuality and was a very communicative, like, partner in bed, so. How old were you when you came to understand what sex was? What sex was? Yeah, like when you saw it on the internet like six or seven, did you understand what it was? Yeah. My parents also, like, if I ever had questions, they answered. They never tried to... I never really thought Santa was real. I never <laughs> lived a life outside of the truth, I want to say. Did you do any modeling or anything in high school or anything? Um, I was actually more of a photographer back in high school, and then... After I graduated, I got more attention, and people asked me to be on the other side of the camera, so I started modeling around, like, 17. When you were shooting photography, were you doing portraits of people, were you shooting something mm -hmm. else? Yeah, I was doing portraits, mostly friends, just whoever would let me practice, and, and I realized I was just always in love with doing landscape shots, more nature. I grew up in a really beautiful area of California, so a lot of landscape shots. And when you started modeling, was it uh, lingerie, was it catalog, was it...? I've done a lot of nude modeling, and that's actually how I started the OnlyFans. That's all I was posting at first. And you were 18 at that point? Yeah, well, whenever I only started OnlyFans, like November 2021. Oh, wow. But, um, but yeah, once I was 18, I was modeling nude. I mostly worked with women photographers, so I felt super comfortable. And then eventually, you know, speaking boundaries and working with male photographers, it got easier. And when you started modeling, was it for the money? Or did you like the attention? Did you like the cameras on you? Did you? I, I just felt like my body was a work of art and capturing that, working with shadows and lights and it just felt nice to have that. I'm sure, yeah, the attention was nice too, but um, like looking at photos of myself, it shows a, that's why I like photographing people. I like showing people the beauty that they usually don't see. So when somebody can do that for me, I'm super grateful. For you, when you're trying to capture that essence of a person, mm -hmm. do you find that comes from getting the subject comfortable? Do you find it comes from catching them off guard? I think comfortable. Because as soon as they're comfortable, or we have like a good banter going, and or yeah, when they're caught off guard, if they're laughing, I, I just love capturing people in an authentic state. And yeah, 
because I'm definitely not the best at directing. Um, actually doing porn has helped me a lot better with that, like directing people and getting good shots. So. And for you, for a good picture, is it something that comes from the perfect pose or do you get comfortable with the photographer and you become freer? I think, yeah, it's a little bit of everything. Uh, for me, I need good direction and to feel comfortable. Once I'm comfortable, then I can, it's a lot easier to get better shots of me. I'll just start moving around and posing however they want me to. How do you make the transition into OnlyFans? Do you have a friend who turns you on with you? Um, well, like I said, I always modeled and felt comfortable showing my body to the world. Never felt shameful or attention seeking. So when I kind of connected that with money, like making my own money, um, it just made sense. And I started doing that and made enough money to kind of take a few months off uh, from cooking because I was a cook for seven years. Uh, so I stopped cooking for a little bit and and I was approached by a recruiter for 101. And then I did my first two shoots out in Scottsdale and same thing, I just, I didn't feel shame. I didn't feel bad about it. I just, I did a job and I did a good job and I felt free and good. Like, I didn't know that, like, I could feel that good about something that so many people have considered taboo, you know. Your first shoot, was it a boy girl? Yeah. For you, what was it like walking into Scottsdale and uh, for sake of discussion, hi, I'm Johnny, I'll be working with you today. Right. Turn you on, make you nervous. So my first male talent was Tyler Nixon, and he's the sweetest person and super handsome. I think there's a reason they, a lot of girls do their first shoots with him. Um, he totally, him being super comfortable definitely helped me feel, su helped me feel super com it, feel okay. comfortable. <laughs> and um, yeah, he was just, he kind of treated it as like, We've been friends for a long time and we're just, you know, we're going to do this thing and it's going to be fun. He just, he had a good way of, um, he was very charismatic, kind, uh, gentle, and then made me orgasm a bunch. So that was great. But he, um, yeah, he just felt like a really, I think he's just really good at what he does. And, um. I'm grateful for that because so, it's made every experience afterwards. Um, I kind of try to take a little bit of what Tyler projected and bring that to shoots now. When you go to do your first shoot, at what point does it hit you that you're doing a porn film? Um, it didn't hit me really until I think I was at my hotel room after that I was like well I'm gonna be on the internet and <laughs> a lot of people are gonna watch that but yeah like I said during and right after it just felt I don't know it felt more natural than I expected it to feel which was nice no shame no like I didn't feel used. I didn't feel like it was something I didn't want to do. And of course, every shoot they make sure, you know, consent and all that, which is awesome. So. Was it easier for you to do the dialogue or do the sex? Oh, sex. Always sex. <laughs> I'm still trying to get better with dialogue. Um, especially for my VR shoots, those have been because it's all me doing the dialogue. Uh, yeah, practicing. 
I got to watch more VR shoots or something. And your first shoot was an anal scene too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Were you doing anal before that? Or were you... Nope. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So there's also that broadening my horizons with this new job. It's been really awesome. You do your first shoot, obviously it goes very well. Mm -hmm. Do you immediately decide to start shooting a lot? Do you maybe take some time and think whether you should perform forward? Um, I pretty much came to LA right after, yeah, and was shooting. I shot like, I want to say four, maybe five scenes in a little over a week, and then took some, took a few weeks off and have been working again, so, yeah, I, yeah, it just feels natural, it feels like a, I like my scheduling with this job, it's kind of like I work every other day for a few weeks and then can take a few weeks off, I've never had that, I've never had, like, financial stability like this, mm -hmm. and didn't realize how much that's done for my mental health and well-being, so... Not that money buys happiness, but I think it definitely helps you sleep better at night. And at this point, is this a job for you or do you want it to become a career? I would like to have it be more of a career. I mean, I feel that way about everything I do with work, though. Like, um, I want to see how far I can take things. And from what you've done so far, do you have an idea like what your comfort zones will be within this industry? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, probably gonna stick to mostly boy-girl scenes. Would like to expand on doing more anal and maybe BDSM. I definitely like pushing the limits, but not you know taking it too far. I don't think I'll ever be into game bangs or uh, never say never, but there's certain things, yeah, like the in peeing or right. anything like that, I'm not, doesn't do it for me, but um, so I feel like I would make better content if I'm, you know, wanting to do the things that are, the shoot consists of, so. Are you saving any of this stuff maybe for your OnlyFans, or are you just not going to do it, or just never say never? Um, I mean, I still do stuff for my OnlyFans. I just shot two scenes yesterday for that, actually. So, um, I'm just trying to hustle, I think, <laughs> right now, and push my limits and see what I'm comfortable with. I think eventually it'd be cool to maybe even start directing. No, I don't think there's enough females behind the cameras in this industry. Tell me about your OnlyFans. Um, so it's at Lumi Ray. Uh, it's been, I think I just mostly have solo stuff on there right now. Uh, but like I said, I just shot two scenes yesterday with two male talents. So it'll be fun to post. Um, I think I'm going to start doing more of that. I know people like my solo stuff, but I think they would also really like if I start doing more POV and having male talents do stuff. If, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think I'm going to try to do, if I do solo stuff, more anal stuff because people seem to be a big fan of that. Like watching me play with my ass. <laughs> Uh, peeing stuff aside, were there any really crazy ideas you got for custom work other than names and stuff? <laughs> uh, not crazy. I'm, again, I'm surprised like people request more foot stuff, which I'm like, all right. Uh, so I'm actually kind of into trying to get foot jobs lately. I think I'll do that, do a good foot job scene with someone soon. Um, foot stuff. Oh, I think I'm not, I'm not really uh, open right now to gaping, 
scenes, right. especially if I'm by myself out really, uh, I can't really. I mean, I've even had anal and that thing just tightens back up as soon as something's not in it. It would take me kind of a long time to get there. Uh, again, never say never. Um, and food stuff, which is funny because I am a cook. So maybe I'll start incorporating some more food or maybe do that with a male talent. All that stuff aside, when you shoot stuff for OnlyFans and when you start shooting, will it be stuff you, you want to see yourself or stuff you think will sell? Stuff I think will sell. So that's why I'm like, I always try to think about POV or um, um, hmm, like, yeah, doing more anal. I mean, I enjoy doing all that stuff, but I'm like, okay, what are they trying to buy? What are they into? What makes more money? Um, yeah. Are you on social media? I am. <laughs> Instagram is Lumi underscore Ray and then Twitter is Lumi Ray all one word uh, but two Y's I don't know somebody took Lumi Ray with one Y don't know who but I have two Y's in that one and OnlyFans is Lumi Ray too just one word uh, <clears throat> single Y in that one how important do you feel social media is to your career? Pretty important, yeah. I think, um, I mean, Twitter especially has really helped me with uh, my career right now in getting uh, noticed by production companies or directors or big social media people that are like, oh, I want to do a content trade with you. That's been super awesome. So I'm grateful for that. Grateful for everyone who follows me and uh, I always see that fans and followers will tag me and suggest me to like browsers and stuff. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm capable of delivering uh, and working for browsers, but super grateful that you guys want to see me doing that and blowing up in that way. Uh, yeah, super grateful. Have you worked for Vixen and all that yet? Hmm? Have you worked for Vixen and all that yet? No, that'd be. I would love to do something for Vixen. Uh, it's called. Black. Black. Uh, <laughs> that too, but um, and then work for Erica Lust. That'd be great. She's like the only female director I know of, or at least big female director. Um, her stuff's really good, though. I like it. With social media, do you, people give you feedback like maybe they want to see you do more POV stuff or they want to see on your OnlyFans and all that? Does that play into when you shoot? Kind of, at least for content stuff for OnlyFans. Um, like if it's uh, shoots, professional shoots, I don't really have a say with that. Um, besides being like, yeah, I'll do it. No, I won't. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I try to pay attention to, I literally pay attention to like what gets more likes, what sh like shots, because sometimes I'll post little clips or retweet clips from like Team Ski and people that have made just small clips for me, thankfully. Um, I've been able to just retweet them and see what gets more attention. Uh, so yeah, I definitely take note it seems like POV, uh, anal, <laughs> um, of course, you all love how much I squirt, so, yeah, that's, that's always fun, because that's the easier one for me. How much different are you than the person people see on camera? How much of this is an act? I'm pretty authentic, actually. I. If anything, um, I just act more slutty on camera. <laughs> Do you think people expect that? In person? Hopefully not. Well, I'm pretty slutty in my sex life, but like I'm not going to be on the street like, yeah, 
show me your dick. Yeah, like, uh, but I think I, because a lot, I mean, I haven't had to totally play like big roles yet. I usually get to just show up on set and they're like, okay, you're the girl next door. I'm like, okay, that can be me, but just a little more ditzy. I guess those are like the qualities I bring in when I do shoots. It's like a little more ditzy, a little more like my tone's a little different and, um, but I'm pretty authentic even in my shoots. People say that when you shoot sex scenes, you have to exaggerate things. Is that true? I don't. So it's all natural, your orgasm and your moaning and everything? Mm-hmm. And you're totally into what you're doing? Mm-hmm. God bless you. Mm-hmm. And when you're not doing silly interviews and stuff like this, what do you like to do? Um, I like going for runs. I like being outside. Um, the beach would be nice on today. Um, or, like I said, writing. I'm pretty like low maintenance girl, so I like doing things that feel good, being outside and stuff. Do you like to shoot and stuff outside, or is there, mm -hmm. is there a specific time for Lumi to become Lumi, the, the mm -hmm. second monster? And the <laughs> uh, like today, I'm not shooting, so I've just been cruising in LA. I went and got an IV drip, uh, got some coffee, and then I came here. And you've only been in business for a couple months. Mm -hmm. Is it easier for you to turn off the Lumi character and go back to being yourself? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, as soon as the camera stopped rolling, I'm pretty like, okay. <laughs> Good scene. Like, high fives. <laughs> Do you have an agent? Yeah, Robert uh, Morin for 101. What can you tell people about Robert? He is a stand-up guy who's, um, me and him have definitely developed a good relationship, I think. Uh, like, it took me a minute to get comfortable with realizing that he works for me, um, but there's no power struggle between us. There's no, there's great communication. He asked me if I want to do shoots. He doesn't tell me. He, he's super sweet. It's hilarious, and... Um, and he doesn't make empty promises. I noticed that with a lot of, I've been approached by other agents and everyone seems to throw certain words out like fame and like influencers, like you're going to blow up in that way. Um, I don't, I'd rather take it one day at a time doing this career. I don't need agents making empty promises. And Robert's just kind of like, this is a job. You can leave, you'll have to, or you can stay and shoot. You know, he's he's been clear on like, I call the shots. And that's been super awesome. So I'm appreciative of Robert. And prior to getting in the industry, had you any preconceived notions about the adult entertainment industry? Um, not too much because, yeah, I mean, anytime you watch porn, I know that that's not who those people are. Um, so it's been really interesting, like, working with these people that you see all over the internet, being someone, I mean, people probably will feel this way about me at some point. Uh, You've had an idea of who somebody is just from watching those videos, whether you, whether it's on purpose or not. It's just you see something, you think that's how it is, and meeting them and realizing that there's like a lot more depth and quality to all these people. Granted, it is a saturated business, but for the most part, everyone's got a story, and it's always super interesting to hear each story. Did your mind ever go back to shooting portraits of people you might want to do without the nude side of it and all that? Maybe, yeah. I like doing the photography and writing thing more as a hobby at this point. Um, I think I'll always have that in my life. 
I'm grateful that having this job allows me to actually have time to do that. So, and travel, traveling and stuff. Saturday, I'm guessing you make your first public appearance as Lumi, is that correct? At the Planetary Studios Fan Expo? Mm-hmm. Nervous, excited, is that? A little nervous, more nervous. Because I, I don't know what that's going to be like, but should be fun. I don't know what these uh, are going to be like, expos and stuff. Kind of sounds like a comic con, but for porn stars. <laughs> and you've touched on it briefly, but for you, from watching a movie to doing one, what's the reality of this business? Um... That it is. It's like it, you're making a movie. You're, you get into character, and when the cameras are cut, the guy will literally be inside me, but we'll just be talking and <laughs> having good banter in between scenes. Or it's just very. It's a lot more lighthearted. It's a lot more casual, and um, yeah, no one. I'm not like some girl under the influence of anything, just getting fucked and then used. I think that's what people, a lot of people thought porn was, but it's very much like fun, loving, kind of cute. Like, I feel that way. I always feel stoked and connected to the people I'm working with, making jokes and taking breaks between scenes and yeah, it's it's nice, a lot more nice than I think what people thought. Cause it's a lot more nice than what I thought it was. For you, do you have to have a connection with your partner, on-screen partner, or is it still work where you're going in and this is what I have to do today and this is what he has to do today? I think I've had like two people I've done scenes with that I'm not necessarily connected to in that way, but. I can kind of be like, okay, well, I know what shots we have to get, especially if it's a POV one, which those two wore. And so I can kind of just, I still enjoyed my time with that person, um, both those people. But I also do feel like I shoot better if I'm like, there's some chemistry or like uh, attraction and like, in that, those, those things. <laughs> um, but it's all, every scene I've done has been fun, nonetheless. And you've been a sexually active person for a long time. From doing this business, will your perception of sex change? Will sex just become a job, or will you still like sex? No, I'm having sex still outside of it, and I, I love it. I mean, it's still, because it's different. It's, different having sex with somebody who I actually have feelings for and a relationship with and doing it for a job and somehow I've attracted somebody into my life that is totally cool with that <laughs> and but it is it's a interesting thing like dating and doing this um, yeah. Interesting for you or interesting for your partner? I think both. <laughs> um, we've had, because we have discussions about it and communicate about it. I worry sometimes that he won't communicate um, his true feelings. And I've made that very clear that he doesn't have to be cool with it, he doesn't have to be as understanding because it's not necessarily the ideal job that you want your other partner to have. But I've always been, I'm not really a jealous person, so it definitely works out a lot more if I date people that aren't that way either. Um, at least, yeah, in the last few years. Um, I have just thought, yeah, <laughs> I don't think people belong to each other, I think. But it would, 
I would be upset if he like went and slept with someone without communicating. So I don't know. We're still figuring it all out day by day. Um, I I think what was the other thing? I kind of worry that. Because I think sometimes people are desensitized and view at least the girls, maybe guys too, as just sexual objects. So I always worry about that. Like if people are gonna have sex with me outside, if they're like, I'm fucking a porn star, so I don't have to be invested or I don't have to, you know, have feelings or I'm not going to allow myself to. So I'm like, okay, well, who you see on screen is a little different, but I don't fully expect people who I date to understand that. I definitely am always open to communicate about it. So. Uh, I don't know how long your relationship is. I don't really want to get into it. But. <laughs> Is that person expecting Lumi Ray sex? Or are they expecting sex with you? Uh, well, we started having sex before I was in this business, so I think he. Um, and I wouldn't say it's a relationship fully. Um, we've just been having sex. <laughs> uh, Friends with benefits? Yeah, for a while. Um, so I think he has sex with me. Um, I know he's watched a scene or two. So maybe he expects a little more now or, but he hasn't, it hasn't really changed, which I'm grateful for the energy, our exchanges that hasn't changed. He's still like super sweet and we have a good time together. Is it showing you on uh, knowing that guys will jack off to you watching you have sex? Mm-hmm. Is that a, more of a turn on if you, I don't want to say to the money, but that rush? Yeah, uh, it's probably right there. Yeah, it feels kind of like a nice little ego boost. Uh, do you have any celebrity crushes? Diego Luna, or, hmm. Gosh, I don't want to be basic or say like Brad Pitt, but he's still got it going on. He's like in his 50s now. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you could do a celebrity sex tape with Diego, what could he do to you? Oh, he could do anything. <laughs> he's, he strikes me as a very romantic person, though. He's like Spanish and... All of his movies, he seems like he plays a very soft-spoken, kind character. Or if Narcos, not so much. But um, what would you do to him if you could? Hmm. Probably give him really good sloppy head, and then let him. He seems kind of smaller, so he could probably get. I'd let him fuck me in the ass. Is that a prerequisite for anal, a bigger pee pee to penis? No good? Yeah. <laughs> Is that weird the way I said that? I'm sorry. No, you're fine. No. Um, no, just the thought of a really huge stick going in my ass made me kind of. Um, I think I could get there, but my, like, my first scene, my anal scene, only lasted like a couple minutes because Tyler was kind of too thick. And then I did my second shoot with backroom casting couch, and that was like mostly anal. So, a little smaller, or you know, <laughs> thinner or something, or feels a little better. And for you, do you prefer a big penis, small penis? Does it matter? It doesn't matter if it's, yeah, a scene with someone. Anything you'd like to say to all your fans? Um. Uh, <laughs> Feels weird to say. <laughs> um, super appreciative of all of you. Uh, I'm so blown away by how fast life is moving and the support that I've gotten along the way. 
and I wouldn't do it without you. I never, I always thought it was cliche, you know, when people would say that about their fans, but I truly understand how important a fan base is and the support that that brings. And I'm super grateful that I can't even say I have that in this life. So thank you.